Okay, welcome everybody. Sorry I can't be with you today, I'm homesick. But I wanted to tell you what you need to do to get started today. The first thing you're going to do is log into your Gmail and you're going to search for an email from FV Games. You'll probably have one or two emails from them at this point. The one you want to open says get started with forward vision games okay you're going to go down here you're going to click on this link and set up your account just use your regular email address use the same password so it's not confusing once you've used this link if you use it again it's just going to give you an error and say it won't work because it's already been done so don't worry you're going to get a second email when you get your second email from them it'll probably be something like welcome to forward vision games you're going to look at this one and you will see the game account link. That's what you want to click to get into the game screen. Your game screen will look something like this. You're going to have an assignment that starts today and runs through the whole course of the game. Uh, you'll have daily reflections. That is one part of the assignment and then a larger part of the assignment that you work on both with your group and individually. At this point, when you're watching the video, you should be in a group of four people, so make sure you get in a group and take care of that if you haven't already. In a group of four, you're going to do a couple things. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into this document in your class. It's posted on Classroom for you, so you can just jump in there and do it. You're going to follow this example. You're going to make a group association name, so you put the name there. You'll put your logo here, just put an image in that relates to your group, um, and then you put your group members' names there, okay? This is part of the assignment, but this little thing here helps me keep track of who's in what group. Over here, in the main assignment, I'm going to quickly explain this for you. It's divided into three parts. Part one, this is what you're going to be doing with your group, and most of it you should be able to get done today, if not all of it. It's worth 50% of the final assignment in this unit, and it's really easy to do. So there's no reason that you can't get this done quick and get yourself a good start on getting a great grade on this assignment. What you're going to do as a group, again, you can copy and paste between each other. That's not a problem. You are going to put your association name, your logo, your group members' names. Down here on the next thing, you are going to put down five rules for how your group is going to work together, a code of conduct, what your business association or your group will do. The next thing, your strategy, five things that you're going to try to do as a group to make yourself profitable as a store and stay out of debt. So what kinds of decisions will you be making? What kinds of rules do you have for doing business? That kind of thing. The next thing you're going to do is a pre-game scavenger hunt. Please do this before you start doing anything else in the game. Uh, with the exception of, there's a, a survey here, I would also like you to do, really, the people who make the game would like you to do that. So if you can do that, that would be super helpful for them. What you're going to do, again, as a group, is find out the answers to each of these questions. How many points it's worth is right there. Work together as a group. Figure out the answers, just type them in right down there on the next line, okay? The last thing you're going to do as a group today is find and define these words. You can use the internet to search for it. You can find them within the game. These are key terms that you're going to need to understand when it comes to how the game works and what it's saying to you, so please make sure you know them. The next part, and we will start this tomorrow, is daily reflections. I give you a series of questions and then you just write the answers. It's very very simple. It's not hard to do. Just put the answers in the box just like so. Boom 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 and you're done. You got 10 of those out of 10 each for 100 marks. That is a small assignment but it's easy to do. The third part, this is the other half of the culminating assignment, is when you are done the game uh, which we should be done on Wednesday next week, you'll just answer these questions here, okay? It's worth 50% of your final assignment in this unit, the other 50 being the stuff that you're starting on today. If you have questions, please send me an email. I will do my best to check in and support you guys as much as I can. 
tomorrow we are going to quickly cover this PowerPoint here so you don't have to look at it right now uh, and then we'll get right into year one tomorrow. We will be tracking your scores so uh, the idea is that I want to give you guys a little bit of a prize for the best performing team at the end so there will be some kind of prize uh, just do really good, help each other out, and make sure you're doing these challenges every day. Run through each scenario. If you have questions, please ask. And please, please, please talk to your group about what you're doing. Don't just rush in and click buttons because it's very easy to rush your decisions and find you're making bad choices uh, and get behind in the game. Once you lock in a choice in this game, you cannot undo your choice. So, for example, Today you are going to give your general store name and you just type in the name here. I would like for you to put your name in it. Uh, it could be really anything you want, your initials, your last name, I don't care. Just make it easy for me to figure out whose store is whose when I'm looking at a list of 50 or 60 stores, okay? Once you're done doing everything you're going to do in the decisions tab, when you lock in your choices, you cannot undo that. So please make sure you do everything first, carefully, before you lock in your choices. Also, be sure not to refresh or log out and then log back in. Uh, the game has been a little glitchy in the past when it comes to timing out. So make your decisions, lock in your choices in one go. Before you lock in, please make sure that your budget, your decisions, all the money questions that you have are locked in before you make a mistake and you can't go back and undo it. Uh, I do want for you to look around on these tabs here. They're part of this assignment in the scavenger hunt, okay? So please check out the game, get familiar with it, look around. You can't make any decisions today. Remember, we're starting year one tomorrow. But this is kind of the pre-game warm-up where you're going to get a sense for the game and know what to do. All right, I think that's it. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Be kind to your supply teacher and give each other a high five when you're done this video and feel good about yourselves. I will see you tomorrow and we'll be ready to rock and roll.